long haul flights don't need to suck, even if you're in economy. It's even possible to make them enjoyable if you know these long flight tips to keep yourself entertained. And no, I am not talking about endlessly scrolling through the limited movie selection or downing sleeping pills so you can try to sleep in contorted positions. I rarely ever see people doing these things and some of them can actually make your entire vacation more memorable. So grab your neck pillows, let's go. Imagine landing in a foreign country and watching the shocked look on locals' faces when you confidently ask for directions in the local language. You're almost guaranteed to get a big smile and it's an instant icebreaker to make local friends. So instead of mindlessly watching movies on your flight, download a language app or podcast and learn the basic expressions. You can also combine this with tip number six coming up. Kotod krap, kung kaujai pasa ang klip my krap. That is a totally butchered attempt of saying, excuse me, do you understand English in Thai? This is a great phrase to learn because it's kind of presumptuous to walk up to locals in their country, speak English and expect them to understand you. Learning this phrase as well as hello, thank you and goodbye can all be done during your flight. I'm a big fan of the Pimsleur language app because it focuses on speaking and listening repetition versus other tools that focus a lot on reading and writing, which aren't really helpful for what you need it for. I'll link to a free trial of Pimsleur below, which is probably all that you need, but there are many other ways to learn languages as well. Next, there's something special about reading a story that's set in the destination that you're about to visit. When we traveled to Cambodia, I read an autobiography of a survivor of the Khmer Rouge killing fields and it totally changed my perspective of the country. The book that I started reading during the flight even motivated me to visit a certain museum where I actually got to meet one of the few survivors. So to make your trip more meaningful, download or pack a book that's set in your destination and read it during your flight. Next, if you're an anxious flyer and you freak out when turbulence hits, watching a movie probably isn't going to help especially if it's an action movie or something that puts you on edge. Instead, download some offline meditations and breathing exercises to help calm your nerves. Popular apps like Headspace and Calm and Balance all have free trials that you can use during your flight days. You may even realize that they help you in day-to-day -day life. I've actually been using all three of these apps on and off for years. There's also some other fun activities that help calm flight anxiety, which we'll get to in a second. If you're anything like me, there are tons of things that you want to learn how to do. And long flights are the perfect time to learn them. For example, wouldn't it be awesome to take a phone photography course so that you can take epic travel pics during your trip? Learning platforms like Skillshare and Coursera have apps where you can download classes offline, making it perfect for the plane. I'll include a link where you can get a free 30-day trial to Skillshare and take as many courses as you want for free. Next if you're a productivity freak like me you may attempt to squeeze in some work while you're in the sky the problem is flight wi-fi can sometimes be expensive or unavailable that's why i always like to have an offline task list of work that i can do without internet this may require downloading some documents offline or just bringing a pen and paper for a good old-fashioned brainstorm session i'm always surprised at how productive and creative i am while frick I'm always surprised how productive and creative I am while flying with no social media to distract me. By the way, what's your favorite way to pass the time on flights? Comment below to help other travelers. Next, listening to music and podcasts while flying isn't a groundbreaking discovery. You probably do that anyway. But on your next trip, oh, let's go somewhere else. Okay, where were we? <laughs> Listening to music and podcasts while flying isn't a groundbreaking discovery and you probably do that already. But on your next flight, try setting up a playlist of songs or podcasts 
that puts you in the mood that you want to be on for your trip. Going to Jamaica, download a reggae list before leaving. Heading to Colombia, try some reggaeton or salsa. You can even combine this tip with the language learning tip for double effectiveness. For example, on Spotify, you can search for pre-made playlists and then listen to it while you're reading the lyrics in a different language. Or just sit back, relax, and let the music set your mood. Before getting into some of my favorite ideas, I just want to mention that entertainment is only one piece of the puzzle to having a smooth long haul flight. For other important tips, I created a long haul flight survivor guide checklist that you can download for free in the description. All right, let's finish these somewhere else before someone crashes into me. Weirdly, one of the best ways to make your trip as memorable as possible actually happens before and after your trip. On your flight to your destination, journal out your intentions for the trip. What do you want to get out of the trip? What would make it a success? Why did you decide to travel to this place? Getting this all out on paper helps you be more conscious of your experience when you arrive. It also helps you make decisions during your trip that align with your goals. For example, let's say you write down that your goal is to make friends with a local to learn about the local culture. You'll remember this when deciding which restaurants to eat at, what types of transportation to take, and what activities to do. And on your flight home, use your journal to reflect on everything you just experienced all the different people that you met, the way you felt, and the lessons that you learned. I have stacks of journals back home and one of my absolute favorite things to do is to cozy up on the couch each year and relive my adventures. Yesterday was the well-anticipated train day and it was a big fail. <laughs> Looking for a soothing yet creative way to pass the time? Hear me out here, but sketching and adult coloring books are actually pretty cool. They're not only therapeutic for flight anxiety, but they're also a fantastic way to etch the memories of your trip into your mind. You can either close your eyes and try to remember a scene from your travels, including all the small details, or if that's too hard, you can use one of your travel photos for inspiration. You can do this the old fashioned way with paper, or there are plenty of tablet apps for drawing. I'm a big fan of Procreate. If you choose digital entertainment options, make sure to remember to download everything offline before your flight. And whatever you do, please, please, please remember to bring a fully charged power bank. Do not depend on those USB charging ports on the plane because in my experience, over half the time they don't work. And there's nothing worse than settling into your seat for a 13 hour flight just to realize that all of your devices are almost dead. Power banks are only one of several small items that you absolutely do not want to forget on your flight. For the full list of flight essentials, watch this video next. Comment below your favorite way to pass time on your flights and don't forget to follow Project Untethered on Instagram and TikTok for more bite-sized travel hacks. All right guys, bye-bye.